I think a lot of beginners especially skip this kind of stage. They just start making a song and work on it, work on it. Work. Give it up while I give it my last try. You run while I keep trust. There's a distance between us. How I wish we could go back in time so you'd still be by my side. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the studio. It's a nice sunny Sunday here in Germany. Thanks a lot to all of your condolences. This really means a whole lot to us. Now today, today it's back to the usual, making music here in the studio. There's like one song, the one song of the album that I wanted to share with you about you, where I have like a problem with the drop. It just, just doesn't feel right. I think it's pretty clear to everyone that a drop in a song or a chorus in a song is like the most exciting part. The part where everything opens up, you usually have like pads and layers and it's the most hectic, the fastest, the most dense part. And I think even someone that doesn't understand anything about music understands if a drop is actually good. I mean, you have the break with the build up, usually drum rolls, effects that just go up, 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 and then it drops. And if that moment isn't powerful enough, it just feels weird. The, the entire track loses, it feels, it feels weak, just doesn't make any sense. And about you, I, I tried something new with like the horn steps. Let me play it to you really quick. It's still Deep House somehow, Deep House pop, somewhere in between, but those steps make it a little unique at least, but it, it somehow doesn't work. If you listen now for the drop, It's too empty, especially for that tempo. If it would be like 120, 122, where it's four to the floor and the kick just as fast enough to fill the entire track, it works. But here in this case, I think we're at 104 and it's just too slow. There's too much space in between of the kicks. So I want to try and fix that today here in the studio and, and make this work. I think the only solution to make it work is either with a very fast bass line or a very hectic top element, a lot of hi-hats, maybe trap hi-hats, or introducing a uh, rhythm to it to make it kind of fake fast. Even on a Sunday, here in the harbor, always, always busy. I think I got something, something that actually works, speeds up everything, implemented hi-hats, a lot of trap style hi-hats, then a snare giving a rhythm instead of being on two and four, what is like usually used for four to the floor kind of beats. This also speeds it up and I, 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 I changed basically almost everything. New vocal chops that are a little more interesting, a little catchier. But I'm still not sure. I have now two alternatives. I might do two or three more and then actually decide because it's so important to hit that right. And you can't really predict in your head how a drop should actually sound like at the end. I mean, yes, a little, but not fully. So you have to try it out and then have like four or five different versions and then check those. And usually it's then pretty easy to tell which one is the strongest. If you have two really strong versions, then, then just finish both and then try to find a label, let the label pick. Maybe they want even to release both. So you have like an, I don't know, like a normal radio version and like a banging club version or a remix immediately. Or you just later on when the label decided delete the vocals, change a lot on the MIDI, and you got another track ready to go. But let me actually play it to you. First, the old version, then the new version. To face the truth, cause most of my life, it was all about you. Oh, now I roll the dice. I'll be on the move, cause most of my life, it was all about you.
So yeah, I, I hope you like one of those two. If you <laughs> hate both, I definitely made something wrong. I think the second one works better if you if you like just think about it being a good song. It fits. It's still not 100% my style, but on the other hand, this album is all about developing my style maybe into a new direction or change it slightly, or at least try out new things on certain tracks just to just to make something fresh every once in a while. So no matter what kind of song you're working on right now, try out different alternatives for the drop, especially if you have vocals, because the vocals are fixed, you can't change them as long as you're not the one singing them, but usually most producers are not really good singers or songwriters, they're like focused on producing. So make sure to have alternatives, try them out, even finish them fully and then, then play them again, maybe wait a week in between to listen to them with fresh ears. And it's then usually so easy to decide which one just works and then just go with the one that you think works the best. I think a lot of beginners especially skip this kind of stage. They just start making a song and work on it, work on it, work on it, build it up until it's like a fully finished song. But they don't think about different paths to take it. You could change a song just by maybe changing the melody on the drop, maybe just changing the sound on the drop maybe having a different bass, maybe let the bass play 16th note, or maybe just like sustained note. It's a huge difference in dynamic, and this can really change the flavor, taste, and, and like the speed or feel of your song. Try it out, because you might actually miss out opportunities that you wouldn't know about if you didn't try out different alternatives. So I hope this gives you a little inspiration, and maybe you try it out on the song you're working on right now. It helps me always a lot. So that's pretty much it for today. I have to deal with a couple of other things. I hope you understand. If you want to help me a little, there's like one thing I would love to ask you. Down below the very first link is to my Instagram page. I'm right now, where am I? Almost at 6,000 subscribers. I don't really care about these numbers, but as you know, right now I'm trying to find a label for my album trying to find the management, I'm like seeking out to a lot of business people. And the first thing they, they do is check out my Instagram and the better it looks, I don't know, the more likely it is they take me serious. I, I hate that the music industry is working like that, but your Instagram subs, that's like the most important on the planet for all of these kind of guys. I know DJs that can't produce, can't DJ, but they have like 200,000 followers on Instagram and they get booked. So. That's just the way it works. So if, if you have the time, just click on the first link, sub. There's also like nice content that I put up there. So um, a win-win, hopefully. Thanks a lot. And tomorrow back again here in the studio, another vlog working, I think on another song. I, I need a break from about you for at least like one or two days. And then maybe do some more alternatives. Never know.